Boys and girls, take a look where we are. We're in Marseille for the first ever time. And tonight is Feyenoord Rotterdam against Olympic Marseille. I've never been to the velodrome before. We're at the beach, it's sunny out here. I've never been to the city before. So much to experience. I'm taking you guys with me. Let's have a look around. guys having a go. A row of horses there. And the Feyenoord fans are kept in by a row of police on this side here. They've decided to put all the Feyenoord fans in one area in the middle of town and get them on buses towards the ground. Yesterday apparently it was all kicking off in this area, the old port in Marseille right in the centre. So they're being extra careful today to make sure it doesn't kick off again. But inside the stadium, I have no idea what's going to go down. Right, the beer of choice today is a Pietra, which comes from the French island of Corsica on the Mediterranean coast. It did cost a little bit, but we're on holiday, so gonna give it a review. First time trying it. Apparently it's made of chestnuts. Unbelievable. It does have chestnut twang, but that is a lovely beer. The French know how to do their pints. Pietra. What is going on? What is going on? People are running away. Just having a beer. It's all kicking off. Someone broke his bike there. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. These guys aren't playing around. The Feyenoord Ultras are back in town, and you can tell getting the tram in Marseille. Got to do the, the stuff in public transport fashion. Take a look at this. Decent. Awful weather, but we're out the old port, and we're here in Castellania. This is disgusting. How does the weather in France just change like this? What happened last night? Oh, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Bathrooms, knives, a lot. It was just Seriously? Like, we had to leave the pub. We've seen old firms, but. Nothing like this before. It's really, not, yeah. My dad said it's not been like that in Scotland since the 80s. Yeah, that was that was organised. Uh, yeah. Great trouble last night, and the police were just as well organised. Yeah. Football out here is crazy. I have no idea what we're going to expect inside that stadium. Ronde, Point, Du Prado. Here we go. Jeez. Still an hour and a half to kick off. Don't know what's going on. The flares are out. It's all kicking off here. Jesus. Welcome to Marseille. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tigas is out. <laughs> Tigas is out. <laughs> Are the chips as good as the atmosphere? No, no one near, but... <laughs> 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Dog dad will be proud. Marseille police and tear gas the whole area. Everyone's getting in. People can't even breathe. Everyone's getting in. Everyone has to rush in. It's absolutely insane. Everyone's locked inside. Tear gas, it's coming in. Right, we made a decision. The level of noise just because an hour before the players are walking out to train. Most of the fans are already in the stadium. This is, this is the loudest I've ever heard. This right. is crazy. We're into the doghouse. Welcome to Stadio Bellator. One hour before kickoff, and it's already pretty busy if you ask me. They've moved the ultras, they've gone to the upper tier on the side, which is unusual, right? Because they blocked this off because of what happened against Powak. There were like that's the away end, and there were like fireworks being thrown at each other. So they've blocked this off, UEFA. What we witnessed outside is just a glimpse of what we're going to see inside the velodrome. Fair enough, players are on. They clap the away fans. That hasn't gone down well. That stand is going absolutely nuts. Ever before, the noise so early pre-match. These 
Marseille Ultras something else. The teams are out for both sides. Marseille starting with Harrit, Payet, Bamba Dieng, Feyenoord begin with Sinistera, Dessas and Nelson. Both playing 4-3-3. <laughs> There's two Arsenal players starting in that Marseille team. William Saliba at centre-back. Matteo Guendouzi in midfield. <laughs> Police have clearly had to use tear gas outside the stadium and it's falling into the velodrome. All the fans are having to cover their faces. This is insane. Tear gas is coming into the stadium. I thought it was pyro. It's not. Oh, oh no. This is, this is mental. Why do the police have to do this? Displays come out on the away end. Rotterdam nightmare on tour. Wow. There's so much smoke from the display. And the message was behind the reason of the banning of the whole stand here. They weren't allowed to sell tickets. Now Marseille would have sold out the whole the whole stadium. Two minutes in, we can't even see the pitch. Monte might score in the smoke. I apologise if we can't see anything. You just don't get atmospheres like this in English football. You will never see it like this. So for me to come here and experience it with that is tense though. Pyatt from the free kick. He's headed it backwards. Brenduzi. Diang lays off to Brenduzi. To Pyatt. Oh! So close. Dimitri. 20 minutes gone, still 0 0. That's incredible. 
incredible. And the team need a kick up the arse because right now it stays 0-0. Playing all the lead at half time. That's half time. 0 0. Playing all the way fans going mental. They know they need 3 2. Let's find out. Look there, it looks like a Scotland flag in the Marseille section there. Just noticed that obviously it's not because it's a different shade of blue. OM out first, and with that comes a display. Bayonetta back out second. Take a look at this. on and score. I don't know what will. Here we go again. Marseille so need to take the next chance. Absolutely right. Marseille fans aren't too happy. Smoke bomb just thrown at the stewards, and there's another. It's getting tasty, this. They've run straight out with it. Here comes another. Fay in order. Oh! This is mayhem. Noises are going off regularly during the game. One goal takes it to extra time, two to win. Look at the fans behind the goal. That's insane, 18th minute. And if anyone's going to score, it looks like it's going to be. Oh, Mandanda with a strong punch there. Great tackle. Fair play to Fano, they've come in with a game plan and they've stuck to it. Hold it off for a nil-nil, keep a low block, play defensive, prove they can't get through. That's been stand. That's been successful. If anything. Oh. It's score or nothing. Gwen Doozy. In a right wing back position now. Corner. No corner. They blow. It's over. Feyenoord off route to the Conference League final. Unbelievable scenes. The underdogs on top. Pyro's on the pitch. Feyenoord players are literally crying. Look at the scenes over there. 
How much does that mean to Feyenoord Rotterdam to go through to a European final in the first season of the league's existence? Marseille players walk out. Don't take me home. Please don't take me home. Love to see the English chance coming from the Feyenoord Rotterdam in there. Kicking off, walking out the stadium there. Unbelievable. Oh my God. What have I witnessed today? Two crazy sets of fan bases, like, I, I don't even feel safe now, <laughs> but no, fair play to the Marseille Ultras, like, they created an unbelievable display at the beginning and at half time, they always had a plan, choreography, smoke bombs, everything, it was mental before the game, so hostile as well, Feyenoord at the end, how much does that mean to that club to be in it? I know it's conference league, but at least they're in a European final, that was the whole point of this competition, give other clubs a chance, even though the result didn't go your way, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on a bit. Bye-bye.